Hey, so what's going on, people? The other day, uh, what was it? It was Wednesday. Wednesday, I was sitting in my car over by Chick fil A. It's all raining out and whatnot. I'm just sitting there kind of eating these waffle fries because that's what I felt like doing with my afternoon. And you know, you can't really eat in some places right now. So, anyways, I'm sitting there and I'm just kind of doing that, just you know, thinking about life and whatnot. And I get this little alert that pops up right here on this little Garmin thing, this Vivo Sport. And it's like, hey, you've been chosen. And then I see this next pop up immediately after that says something, something Nike app. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if the Nike thing is telling me I've been chosen for something, it's likely hours late. And whatever they're trying to offer me to buy, I probably missed out on it. So I just kind of sat there for a minute and ate some more of the fries and stuff. And then eventually I look over and I see, okay, let's see what this is all about. And so I pull out the phone here and it's looking like there's something from Adidas. So I'm thinking, oh, well, this could be all right because Adidas makes a lot of things that I like. So I go in there, open a little notification a little bit further and it's like, hey, you want to buy these Wave Runners? And I'm like, I don't know. Uh, give me a minute to think about it. So I sat there for another minute, ate some more fries, thought about some things. And I was like, you know what? Well, let's let's see what we see. Right, so I go in there and I'm thinking and I make my order and all that stuff. One of the things that kind of put me on the fence, and this might sound a little ridiculous, but um, so last year at Comic-Con over in San Diego, I met Kofi Kingston, right? Got to, you know, hold up the belt and all that good stuff, talk to the guy for a minute. It was pretty cool, right? And so most people, when you meet somebody like that, you probably ask them, oh, you know, what's your favorite match or what's... What's Rusev like? You know, whatever your question might be. So me, knowing that he's a shoe guy, I'm thinking, you know what, I want his opinion on something. So I ask him, I'm like, hey there, uh, Kofi Kingston, sir, if I may ask you a question, please. I didn't say it like that. I was like, hey, dude, so question for you. And I ask him, what do you think is the most overrated shoe out there, model-wise, right? And... He hesitated briefly, but I could tell it wasn't like he had the answer. He was just trying to think of like, wait, what was the easy 700? I think he was just trying to, maybe he was trying to get the numbers right, you know, so he didn't say the wrong thing. But yes, he, without a doubt, without any hesitation, without any other possible answers, he went with the 700. And for some reason, that kind of stuck with me. Because I was like, you know what? A lot of those do look kind of weird. The inertias were fine, but you know whatever so anyways moving on moving on past that back to the present time i'm thinking you know what if kofi kingston sees me in these he might call me up like dude i told you those are bad shoes why are you wearing them and i'm gonna be like dude i, I don't know man and i'll probably just take them off and just walk home barefoot but anyways i put in the order and a couple business days later here we are so that was wednesday thursday friday it is now saturday morning Pretty quick, right? Pretty quick. So that's pretty all right, on, in my opinion. Now that I've talked enough, let's go ahead and get on into these. Now, the other thing where I was debating was if I really even wanted these. You know what I'm saying? Because buying something is one thing, keeping it is another. Because I am not 100% sold on the Wave Runner. I'm just going to put that out there right now. But I've never had a real good close-up look at them that I can think of. So maybe, just maybe this is going to be the time that I get put on board. And if not, well, it's not like they're going to be hard to get rid of. I mean, I can either sell them, right, that's an option, or I can return them, which is also an option. But I'm not stuck with them. That's the main thing. So, here we go. Right there, you see it, the 700, because this is a Yeezy 700. And then looking on the side of the box there, you see some stuff that you see on all these Yeezy 700s and the 350s. I assume it's all the same, right? Yeah. Same layout. You got the size and all that good stuff. This says Magosker C White and C Black, usually standing for Core White and Core Black. At least that's what I picked up. So now's the moment of truth where we pull these things out and get a good look at them. <sighs> Let's see what's going on with these. Let's see what's going on with these. And also, how I feel about these, once I pull these out and do this review, that is going to be what controls whether or not an on-foot happens. So, 
If you're looking for one, you might be out of luck. But there will definitely be links at the end to some other people, and they'll they got the, they got that for you. So don't worry about that, right? I'm not gonna leave you completely hanging. So here we go, looking at these all in all. Okay, okay, everything seems to be like fine, I guess. You know, nothing wrong with them or whatever. So you know what that means, right? You know what time it is, right? You know what we're about to do, right? Yes, that is correct. It is review time on this right here, the Yeezy Boost, almost at 350, 700 V1, in the Wave Runner colorway. So, looking at these up close, now that this is the first time I've ever been able to really see a pair of them, I gotta say that they're not terrible, but I don't see it. I don't see the hype that everybody else saw. So that's just me. Just gonna put that out there right now. But how much does my opinion really matter? I don't know. What does matter, what I like to think matters a little bit more, is those detailed reviews, right? Because maybe you don't care what I think. You just want to know some stuff about this. And I got you. So starting with the bottom. Right there, across the outsole, you've got this kind of like weird little zigzagging of stuff going on. And in between there, just a little bit, you can kind of see the boost in these one, two, three, four, five little spots there. Hold that a little closer for you. Because there is boost in these, which is very nice, right? I assume anyway. How chunky and cushiony it is, I don't know. But whatever, it is there. And then this, the rest of this outsole looks like it's pro, looks like it's pretty solid. Looks like it's fairly durable and all that. Moving on up to the mid though here, this this whole dad shoe look thing is what they got going on, right? So it's very thick, right? It feels very solid too, very solid. But anyway, so looking across there, you got some orange backed by a bit of a white color. It's not exactly white white, maybe like it's kind of like a slight off white sort of color. And then a little splash of black towards the end there. And overall, it looks like it's got a bit of a slope down kind of thing. I don't know if that's just the look of the shoe or if it's like that when you actually put it on. That is one thing that I'm not a huge fan of when I wear something kind of like how the 720s are, where they have that slope down thing. Not a big fan of it. But moving on past that, onto the upper here. So there's a couple little layers of things going on here, some varying materials and whatnot. Looks like a fair amount went into actually creating this. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So going off the toe here, first off, right there, you've got a bit of suede, this little gray patch, kind of like a little V shape. Moving behind that, you've got this. i am bring that in for you there. It's kind of a mesh sort of thing, that blue, mixed in with a little more mesh on the side and the green. And then you've got some black suede on the side. So it's, it's mostly the same on both sides. There you go, it's got the same little thing almost, I don't know, it almost looks like a masking way with like, if those were the eyes or something, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. But so you got that going on, you got some nice suede, it does feel pretty decent though, so that's a plus. And then there's a little bit more of the mesh style going on up here, get you that closer look so you can kind of see what all I'm talking about. And across the top, the outline here, now this is some very nice quality leather right there. This gray that they have going on up here, it's on both sides, as you can see. But that, hold that in real close for you, you can kind of tell that's some high quality leather. I mean, I get the videos can be deceiving, but you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've got no reason to. And then back here, you've got some more mesh going across that, around where your ankle would be. That's a little stiffer, but it's probably like that to give you some cushion in there and kind of just hold your foot in place. Moving down here, you got a little bit more of the suede with what appears to be potentially something with 3M in there. I'll figure that out after this, but it looks like those two dots in there are kind of reflecting, you know, because I got the light on up there. And then finishing off the upper, coming towards the back, you have more suede with it looks like possibly some 3M down in there in those little perforated areas. You just kind of see what I'm talking about on both sides there. So overall, there's a lot of stuff going on on the outside, you know, a lot of different quality material, different materials here, all of pretty good quality. 
one thing I didn't mention, but usually like to, the tongue, nothing crazy, you know, but it does feel nice and plush. And I do like the color of these laces. I will say that is, as of right now, it could be my favorite thing about this shoe. It's just the way those laces are. I mean, they're standard laces, you know what I mean? They look like things you've seen on a million other shoes, but I like the color and that's what I'm saying. And then moving on to the inside here, nothing too crazy going on in there, just the Adidas logo on that plain gray insole. So now again, like I said a moment ago, keeping these for myself, not quite sure about that. I'm not, I don't know, that's gonna, that's gonna take some thought. But anyways, I do like to talk about sizing and because I knew that there was a possibility of me not keeping these, that means that I'm not gonna be putting them on. But I don't want you to be left out on the sizing portion. So I happen to know a couple other people that do this, right? Some of them are probably down there in the comments right now. But anyways, I asked DB Kicks, I asked Bobby Sneaker World, and I asked McFly KOF, right? All of them have videos of these of this shoe. All three will be posted at the very end in the end screen credits section or whatever. And if I remember, they will be in the description too. As I said before, if you want those uh, those on foot pictures and whatnot, those are your guys. Go there, check them out, check out their other stuff too, because they're they've got stuff coming out all the time. Anyway, so I asked about the sizing, and that's what we're going to talk about now. So Bobby Sneaker World said true to size, plain and simple, right? Because he has a pair of these. He wanted them for a long time, was able to get them for retail because he's like me and doesn't really believe in that whole resale thing. So he went true to size on these specifically. For DB Kicks, he also said true to size, but that the Mauve, Mauve, whatever, that pair, also, you know, also another 700, seemed to fit a little snug, right? So his suggestion is that, yes, while they do seem to be a true to size fit, just to be on the safe side, he sides with going up half a size, just in case, right? Because if you're spending, these things cost $300, right? Which is another thing that doesn't quite sit so well with me because I want to really like something if I'm going to keep it for 300 So if you're going to buy something, you want to make sure it fits right. Rather than taking the chances, he sides with going up half unless you get to try something on. And then McFly, he's chimed in and he said that they are true to size on the V1s, which is what this is, but the V2s, you should go up half. So that's two votes for staying true to size, two and a half, depending on how you want to look at it. But anyway, so these here, oh, he did say go up half on the V2s though, but stay true to size on the V1s. I don't know if I said that exactly right, but that's what I meant to get out to you. So anyways, that's how things go for sizing. But I do hear that they break in very well. And once you've worn them for a bit, they're super comfortable. But again, those are the words of the other guys that I mentioned. Please go ahead and check them out because even outside of getting some more Wave Runner information, they've got all kinds of other good stuff going on. So do that for yourself and do that for me, right? But mostly for yourself because I know what they have. You don't, possibly, but you should. So. I believe that's it. I have covered everything that I feel like needs to be covered on this. So since I'm sitting here, I'm going to go and do one more of my little old reviews for shoes that I haven't worn because, you know, why not? I didn't do one this week, so I'm going to knock that out. But for now, have yourself a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will be back, I guess, in a few minutes or something like that. So there's that for you. All right. Later, people.